So yo, what is up guys, it's Gold Squash 3 here. I'm going to be changing my name to Gold Squash Fishing. So make sure you get the right channel. So this is my first What's in My Tackle Bag, but first off what I'm going to start with is what I take there. First, I get my um, blue lens polarized sunglasses made by Costa's right there with the green Costa wire. That's actually the small version of the Costa wire. I get the Columbia Performance Fishing Gear hat. I get it because I really like the bass and it's very, very breathable. And it is actually very stretchy. So yeah, that's why I get it. And plus I just liked how it said Performance Fishing Gear is a fishing hat. So that's another reason why I get it. Sorry guys if I'm talking so fast, um, I just want you guys to know what I use. So now I have a bait caster right here with some green brave line on it. Um, let me put this frog over here. And then I got a Lucas Hunt frog, white frog on here. And of course it's a fin. Finical bait caster with the rod is an ultra balanced bait caster rod, and then it is length is 6'6, six, six, medium action, lightweight is 10 pound, 10 to 15 pound lure, 10 to 15 pound line weight, and then the lure weight is one fourth to five eighths ounce and it is made in China. I don't know why I got that. Usually I get made in the US. Got a little bit of hung up there. And then I don't know if I already showed you this but um I got my ugly stick GX2 skinny bass version with the Abby Garcia reel and it's got the ugly stick stuff on the bottom. Sorry if you can't see it well guys, I'm so sorry. With the jig head on here with the mini grub. And it's meant for bass and ice fishing. And then I got my new bait caster with 20 pound braid. I mean not braid, um I forgot what it's called, but, and then I got the puppet frog on here with just, not the stick, stick, um, I got the just normal foam handle, and it is a Argilita reel with a Zipco Rhino Tough. Okay. So now we are going to get into my bag. First, we're going to start off with the pockets on the side. Now, first off, let's start off with the pliers. So now, so now we're going to start off on the side. Sorry guys, my camera fell and it's not working very good. Hold on guys. I know just saying hold it. So first we're gonna start off with my blue pliers. It's got very, very sharp ends right there. Get that to cut my braid. Get Get this to get the deep hooks out. It's metal. Get that. It's stainless steel. Get that so it doesn't rust. Then I got a pair of just school scissors. Just in case I want to use some cut bait. And then now I got my bluegill tackle box right here. Get some mini grubs. Get some yellow. Get some clear orange. Neon yellow right there. Some hooks right there, get some jig heads. 
orange and yellow. Um, I believe it. Nope. Nothing else in there. So now guys, let's start off now. Let's start with the soft plastics. But first, I got my jig heads right here. Then I got a red jig head and a white jig head. Just found those in my garage. I like those are useful. And then let's start off with Rage Space Monkey coffee scented right here. It's a very good bait. I've caught in a few bass on it. Then I get the Strike King Shimmy Stick Watermelon Bike Flake. Right there. I've caught two bass on that. And then we got the shimmy stick sweet tater pie. Right there. The best strike king. Haven't used it yet, but will in the future. Got me some of this for clear water. I'm not sure what they're called. They came with my tackle box and I've caught five bass on it. Right here, very good. I caught a good four or five pounders on there, so. It was a really good bait. Look like plankton off of SpongeBob, to be honest with you. Then I got some Zoom, Horny Toads, Watermelon Seed. I like to throw the Watermelon, Green Pumpkin, all that good stuff right there. So I got the Watermelon Seed, Super Salt Plus, Horny Toad. They run for $2.99. Oh, these are open, but flirt. Uh, carplet, purple, and black color with a neon yellow jig head. Tested this. I've caught a few bass on it. I've caught so many I can't count. Um, that's a very good soft plastic. You can get those from Walmart and they're actually very good. If you wonder, I get all my red shell and strike kings. I get them from Walmart, They're at some of them from Academy and Bass Pro. And then I get the Rage Crawl Watermelon Red Flake Rage Crawl Coffee Scented, maybe Rage Still, and Strike King. Um, then I get the Strike King Shimmy Stick Red Bug Chart Tip. Have not used this yet, but it's got like a yellow tip right there so yeah then I got some the rage tail structure bug green pumpkin I'll show you guys if y'all are wondering what do they look like this right here I'm some trouble back here, but this is what it looks like right there. Coffee scent did take a sniff. <laughs> it smells like coffee. It's got a little like crawfish craw claws down here. On this side, you might be able to see some eyeballs right there. Don't know what it's supposed to be, but it is a structure bug. I've caught tons of bass. I've caught like 10 bass on one structure bug. So it's a very good soft plastic. Found these in my garage. Um, they're a very long tail worm. It, I believe it's red seed green pumpkin flake. It's very weird. And then I got some Zoom Super Salt Plus Six Lizard Plum. The color is actually plum. So it's pink and purple. I don't know why they name it Plum, but it does not match. Then I got about a, uh, well, then I got about a hundred lizards in here. So, yeah. Is it? Yeah. About a hundred lizards in here. Soft plastics. Um, and then I got some curly tail. Um, silver and black. 
um, found those in my garage too. I've tested those. They were pretty good. Then I got some more Rage Tail Strike King Rage Crawl Green Pumpkin. I like to throw that. Deer and bedding season works very well. I believe I have, yep, here they are. The Blue North Carolina, no, Blue Australia Rage Crawl. It's black and blue flake. Um, I believe I have one more soft plastic, of course. Get these deer and bedding, get these deer and bedding season, use them red, white, red and blue. It's fire and ice, cold warm, 7.5 inches. Very good. Culprit. And then, so, um, yeah. And then I got, on this pocket, is my mustad scale. And then, you can pull it down. And it tells you the weight. Turn that off. Put that back here in my pile. Is there anything else in there? No, besides the sort of seashell. I have no idea where how that got in there. But okay. And then let's move on to these zippers. Okay, so if you're wondering what was on that bait caster right there. I just found it. It was actually 15 pound test, Zepco, Modifilament, Almond Eye Flex, High Strength Line, 500 yards. And yeah, it's very strong. I just caught seven bass today on this. Did not have one problem with it, guys. 98 cent at Walmart. And haven't had one problem with it, guys. Get this, 98 cent, 500 yards, 15 pounds. 10 pounds there, they have 1,000 yards, guys. For real. Why not get that? Okay. I believe it has something else in here. Hand sanitizer, of course. Gotta have that one for fishing. Don't want any diseases. And then let's move into this zipper. Okay, so in the zipper, let's dig in, see what's in there. Get a rag, wipe all the fish slime and worm slime and all dirt and stuff like that, all that nasty stuff. So, um, yeah, let's get in to the main part, the big zipper. So let's first start off with my bait and stuff, my extra stuff when I need stuff. So what I got here is a, actually a stringer, just in case I want to string up some gills. If I don't have my um, oxygen tank with me, got that. Okay, then I got some fingernail clippers, like I said. The, if the fingernail clippers can't cut through the braid, then pliers can. But fingernail clippers for monofilament line. Um, two Ziploc bags. Never know what you need for need for Ziploc bags. I got a extra buzz bait back here. Just put that down. Slipped up my hands with the rage bug on it. Okay, so and then I got one three ounce weight and then one two ounce weight. Got some grill glue. Never know what you need, but helps. Got an extra coastal wire. Got some white spider wire braid, 20 pound test. So that's for this box right here. And in the future, I am going to need a bigger box. But here is my soft plastic bass kit that I got from Bass Pro for 15 bucks. So first, we're gonna start off with the brown sinko worm looks very realistic to be honest with you guys and i got some beads right there i don't know what those are really for i don't know texas rig or something but and then i got don't know what these are but it looks like a grub worm 
with like an orange, green, and red sparkle. And then I got a black grub worm. I believe I had some brown ones in there, but I don't know. Got these for spawning season, guys. Purple with pink tail. Gotta have those. Then I got some more lizards. Some 12 inch worms. Got those for uh, red fish. I don't know what those are doing in there. Then I got two different color worms right here. If you're just trying to do some fake worms, can't afford the real worms, these are 95 cent, guys. For real. For a whole hundred pack of those. Got some treble hooks. So, yeah, that's what that is for that box. And I got one more box, guys, down here. And that'll be the end. So, I got tons of stuff in here. Got about a hundred bass hooks in here. I got about 30 bullet weights, guys. Um, I believe they're one ounce. No, I think it's like three quarters of an ounce bullet weight. So, and then I got a popping perch. Guys, it's pretty good. And I got a baby midnight, meant for midnight fishing. Then I got this. I've caught tons and tons and tons of bass on this. I'm going to have to get a placement because the leg is ripping right there. But I got the Lucas TV, Lucas Hunt TV frog. Um, and then I got a little um, skirt frog. I think it's meant for like morning fishing. And then this one's meant for like mid-afternoon. It's um baby afternoon. That's actually what they're called, guys. Let's put those back in. And then let's move on to my crankbaits. Um so my crankbaits. Oh no guys. It's stuck in the carpet. Not very good. Well, we're gonna start off with the red crawl. Deep diving crankbait right there, guys. Oh, it's stuck with fingers. Put that one back in. Then I got the shad imitation crankbait. Um, that's meant for night fishing. Get us a little minnow crankbait. Another little minnow bluegill crankbait. And then a bluegill crankbait. And then now, got my top water lures. Got another shad imitation. Then I got a salt water lure. Got that. And then I got a football head jig with the rage crawl for the trailer, guys. And then I got a baby white chatterbait with the baby brush hog on the bottom. And then. I got an amazing blue eel swim bait. 15 bucks at Bass Pro, guys. Can't argue with that. It works so well. It got perfect. It has perfect action, guys. Like for real. You can see the blue eel in there. For real. Get this. It is amazing. So yeah, guys. This will be the end of this video. I will be making a new intro, and I'll be putting it in my videos, guys. So, um, yeah, that is my tour of my bag, and I'll see you guys later.